Despite the personal setback of losing the 1997 presidential election, she endured, she followed through the second civil war and transitional government was elected president, as we all know, in 2005. The first elected female head of state in all of Africa. The recognition of her leadership has been worldwide. She was rightfully awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011 and she was re-elected as president to a second term. Now in an act that's very, very important, we should not underestimate its significance, she is preparing to step aside under the term limits of the Constitution, allowing for a peaceful and democratic transition of government. Simply put, President Sirleaf has been a transformational figure for Liberia and for Africa, and it's our honor and privilege to welcome her here today. Yeah. Congressman Price, my dear friends, Congressman, thank you for being here, Senator Johnson. Thank you for being here. Our friends from the Republican Institute, International Republican Institute, National Democratic Institute, Sister uh, Secretary Johnny Carson. There's so many people in this room that represent so much of the long journey I've been on that if I were a crying person, I would cry to say that. <laughs> but, I want, but I just want to see how you've been there. I look at Swanee Hunt and what she did. What, what, what she did. Those early days of sitting together, working with the women. Um, but let me let me talk. Let me introduce some of our officials that are here. They're, they're the ones who've been helping us to to get the progress that we have. The March on Minister of Foreign Affairs is here. March on Kamara spent spent a whole lot of time in the ACR. Uh, we, we, We've got a very young government. A few of them are here. Is uh, George Warner here, Minister of Education, for all his The uh, Minister of State of Portfolio, Dr. Clarence Moniba, he's right in my office, right here with me. Ms. Axel here, uh, Minister of Commerce and Industry, is right there. Oh, all these great young people, and, and the one who who everybody talks about the head of our general service agency, Gary Broad. It's been a great journey. We're here today to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. All of you have been there with us. As a result of that, as a result of the strong partnership with the United States, I say we were able to do a few things to bring our country from the state, from a pariah state, a field state, to bring it back to the cognitive nation. And one of the things we'd like to say that we're very proud of, we maintain the peace. That to us. That, that said it all. Over 15 consecutive years of peace compared with 30 years of war. What a great transformation. Yes. We also wanted to make sure that we begin to restore those basic things of life that our people have been neglected for so long. Things like rebuilding the roads, bringing electricity back, not in the capital city for decades getting more system going, fixing the schools and the clinics and the hospitals to get them functioning again, bringing life to dysfunctional institutions. Today, 1.5 million of our children are in school. We missed a whole generation 
conflict when they were not able to go to school. Child soldiers roaming the streets, roaming the bush. Today, we have the first group of kids who don't know anything about a gun and never have had to run. And so, given a voice through our governance program, participatory democracy, allowing the freedom of speech, I always say sometimes irresponsibly, but you know, <laughs> but allowing that freedom today that our people have is all part of building this democratic culture, restoring the reputation of our country, the country that used to be the, the postal picture of the postal child of destruction and then violence and whatnot today. We can embrace a democracy that's blooming. And so in just about what, 12 days, Liberia will go to the elections. Liberians will choose. Liberians will have the opportunity to vote for the next set of leaders. And that for us would be a great test of our democracy. The defining moment of all that we've done in these past 11 plus years that we can now make this transition and Liberians can now build, the new leadership can build upon the foundation that we have made on the democracy we have nurtured, on the improvements that we have practiced. To all of you, a big thanks. Each and every one of you, as I look through the crowds and I see the faces <coughs> and hear the voices, and, and many of them haven't been there for these recent years, but they were there in those beginning years when we didn't know where we were going, when we didn't know how to find the way, when, when the burden and the, the enormity of the challenges was so much so many of you that we could reach out to just a kind word, just some inspiration, just some encouragement, just some support. And with that, we were able to travel this road, a road that now comes to an end. And we can all just say to all of you, it's been a great journey. It's we have a wonderful group of people in our country wanting to move ahead in their lives, wanting to improve their living condition, make it even better than what we were able to do. That's the generation that now goes forward. And we just ask you to continue to be a friend to Liberia, continue to work with our Liberian institutions, continue to encourage them, to support them. Congressman Price, please, we have a new legislature coming in. Our election's going to have 73 uh, persons vying to be the members of the House. And we've been working through the Democracy Partnership to give them strength, to enable them to be independent but yet collaborative. That's what your message has been. We ask you to continue that. We'll continue working with all of our good sister representatives here who've been there. Uh, there's a greater joining ahead. And that joining is that there's a vacuum in African women leadership at the top level. Swami, so we gotta go to work again. <laughs> Got to make sure that that vacuum doesn't remain for too long. Thank you all for being great friends.